I also wanted to ask my next guest, what about the insurance companies? Now, he's CEO of Prudential. This is the UK's largest insurer, and his name is Tijam Tiam. So thank you so much for being on Bloomberg. Pleasure. A lot of the talk here in Davos is about regulation, about over-regulation. Mm -hmm. Now, coming from the insurance business, mm -hmm. you're regulated by hundreds of different bodies in the US, but also in Europe. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like the focus has also to comprehend the insurance and to have a more of a, a complete overhaul, actually? of the regulation for your sector? I, I think really, uh, the first thing I'd like to say is I, I'm actually for regulation because insurance is a business that is founded on trust. And it's very important that the customers feel protected uh, by the regulators. So uh, what I'm going to say should in no way be understood as a, an attack against regulation because I think regulation is necessary, but it must be appropriate. Uh, we've gone through a terrible crisis in 2002, 2003 in my industry. And I think we learned a lot of lessons from that. And I think that allowed us to do actually reasonably well. In 2008, in 2009, uh, we haven't cost anything to a taxpayer, Prudential as a company. We've been through huge market dislocations and have actually strengthened our capital position and feel very good about our position coming out of the crisis. So in that context, we're very concerned uh, that um, the concerns about banks would lead regulators to take decisions which would not have been um, considered and discussed enough and which could have uh, damaging long-term consequences for, for our industry, which I repeat has done very well. But of course the perception, I mean, mm. you, you think of insurance, mm. you think of, of the AIG, the mm. testimony that we've been following this mm. week. How mm. has that dented mm. the insurance? Mm. And does that mean that you're going to see regulators being a lot more tough mm. on insurance than they would have been had AIG not happened? Well, it's a, it's a very important point. If you look at AIG, uh, their insurance activities did not run into any difficulties. What drove them to a crisis was actually a banking type activity conducted in an unregulated environment. So it doesn't have anything to do with insurance. Unfortunately, it's one of the best recognized insurance brands in the world and it creates some confusion. But um, I'm very keen to, to emphasize that AEG didn't get in trouble because of its insurance activities. But of course, it's the perception. Absolutely. Um, so think. in terms of what you've been hearing here mm. in Davos, mm. how do you position the insurance sector over the next year? Pitfalls, downfalls, mm. uh, are your sales mm. in terms of policies right. going to get right. better? Uh, as you know, Prudential is a um, primary area of focus and of growth is Asia. We are top three in seven Asian countries. Uh, we're very strong in Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, Hong Kong, Singapore, uh, India, number one in India, in China. So we have a fantastic platform uh, in Asia, which has really served us very well in this crisis. When you see how the Asian economies are. And are you going to expand in Asia? Absolutely, absolutely, without a doubt. Uh, it is the region that offers the best growth prospects. If you look at what drives our industry, it's really GDP growth and savings rates, and both are excellent in Asia. Mr. Tiam, great to speak to you. Thank you so much for being on our show. Uh